Welcome to Organic Wine Review. I am Winston Jones and you be? Jenny Eyre. All right, Jenny, today we are going to Portugal, Ooh. that little country on the left coast of the Iberian Peninsula. Don't get some fancy words, Iberian Chicken Insula, whatever. Yeah, yeah I Iberian Peninsula, Portugal, <laughs> and Spain, two contiguous countries divided by the 43rd parallel. Okay, so actually, Portugal, beautiful country. I have been there. Lisbon, they drink a lot of wine, a lot of table wine. And speaking of table wine, this is a table wine. It's a vinho mesa, or table wine. The brand, coincidentally, is Air, A-I-R, or Air. Aida. Aida, just like your last name. We have it on good authority that in Spanish, <laughs> not about Portuguese, it means to go. Right. So I'm wondering about air, airplane, to go, fly away, who knows? Oh, who knows, and hopefully it's not to air is human. Hopefully this wine won't be an air in that way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and we'll find out about this. Just really quick, um, the grapes, a few of them in at least anyway, Tempranillo, uh, Torriga Nacional, Alicante Boucher, and Cabernet. And also Trincadera. one more. Trincadera! Trincadera. This is Certified Organic Grapes by EcoCert from Europe. And um, wow, you know, it's funny. We came back to this wine. I love, I love the nose. It's, it's dark, it's deep, it's complex. It's got some like smoked, kind of charred berries. It's campfire-y. Mm. It's got a... Yeah. It's got a density to it. it there's it. a meaty quality to the nose. Um, there's actually a lot, of, a lot going on. It's yeah. kind of alluring. It makes me want to just jump back in and give it another sniff. Right, and often I'll get that with Tempranillo in general. It just makes me want to go back and smell it again and see what else I it can get out like of it. It almost like it smells something different each time you go back to it. Yeah. What about on the palate? Mmm. It's almost like dried fruits. Oh yeah, dried cherries, dry, dry yes. Dried cranberries. A little bit of potpourri. It's got some mm. tannin, but it's not overpowering does taste like uh, quite a bit like Tempranillo. Um, fairly light-bodied wine, even though it's got some tannins. It's got a little bit of heat A on little the bit back. of heat, yeah. I'm also That's actually not a bad thing, though. picking up a tiny bit of like stewed tomatoes, which I kind of like that because it's starting to make me think about food. And when we drink wine and we think about food, then we're starting to make that package complete. For a table complete. wine, you know, under $15, I, I think I might give this a try with some food. food. All right, <laughs> cheers. cheers. 